In today's lecture, we will learn about filter context propagation. That how filter and row context propagate. Let's talk about filter context first. Filter context automatically propagate from one side to many side. Like uh, we have uh, this data model contains territory customer sales product and some other tables and here you can see we have one to many relationship from territory to customers one to many so the filter context can propagate easily from territory to customers then it can propagate from customer to sales again we have one to many relationship and uh, Then we have um, from sales to product, we have many to many. So this is not possible. So the filter context cannot propagate from sales to products until we try to make it bi-direction. So let's do it. Let's have a look how filter context propagate with the help of an example so we can go to the report and in the visual I have added from the from the customer table occupation and we are here from the customer table and I have added one occupation uh, column and uh, now I add one sales like we have already created sales total sales so I just click and uh, now we have every occupation and related sales so we can see we can have a look uh, the filters can easily propagate from customer to sales so every occupation has its relevant sales so let's try to add uh, territory as a slicer so we need to know that how filter context propagate from territory to sales via customers so we can go to the territory and we can add one country slicer here And here you can see if I click Australia the total sales is changing depending on the country see so with the help of this example we know that how the filter context propagate from one side to many side and let's do as we, we have already discussed that the filter context filters will not propagate from many to many side so let's start, try to create one measure on uh, product so I will create one measures like uh, total products count rows and we will try to count all the rows in the product table so let's drag and drop and see we are getting everywhere 397 because there is because the filter is not propagating from many to many side that's why we are getting everywhere the same number of products so how we will fix this issue we will try to uh, we will I mean you just need to just click uh, this icon this single icon is showing is like a single direction just double click and uh, then the cross filter direction you just, just need to click both directions so that the filter can pass from many side to one side and one side to many side click OK and now we have 
is a bi-directional filter has been applied. Now go to the report and see. We are able to see uh, now the this total product is filtering properly. Uh, for example, if I click Germany, France, Canada, so everything works fine. So this is how filter context propagate from one side to many side and from many side to one side. Performance wise, it is good when we have filter propagation from one side to many side, but when we have a reverse like from many side to one side, then it might be have some kind of performance issues. So this is all about filter, how the filter context propagate. When we talk about the row context, row context does not uh, propagate automatically. So we will see about the raw context propagation in the next video.